Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, I don't know about you, but there was one thing that I was taught when I was at school is the proper etiquette. You were of, taught that. Oh, yes. They were very strict on that. That it must was, be an Australian thing. It was thing. a boys' school. Oh. So we, they were like, you yeah. know, no uh, elbows on tables. Let me introduce you to Sally Plass. Now, Sally is the owner and founder of Enrichment and Life coaching for etiquette, I have to say. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. How are you, my friend? I'm very well. Thank All you right. for having me. So where do we start when you arrive at a restaurant? Is it okay to immediately order a drink? Now, just remember, everyone, this is for business. So this is if you're showing up? Yes. Yes. Talk to me about A lot of video. rules for the business meal or uh, for an interview will be held over a meal. They might be the same as in social etiquette. But in the business world, you better be sure to yes. follow the appropriate uh, etiquette for the meal. The uh, having good manners might get you the interview or might, might get, get you, you the, the job. job. Having bad manners will probably not get you the job. Oh. <laughs> so money's on the line here. Yes, absolutely. So what you're saying is, is my first question was, when you get there, you might be there first, which we do recommend yes. everyone. Yes. Um, do not order a drink. You maybe a yes. glass of water. Just sit there. Well, no. Oh. Uh, actually, wow. what you would do is wait in the reception area. Like this beautiful restaurant has this reception area. You wait for your party. Now, if it's time for your reservation, then you would want to go ahead and go to your table. If you are the host or the employer that's uh, that's uh, having yes. the interview, then you might go to your table and check on it. But it's still good manners to go out wait for your guest or for your, the person that you're waiting on. And if you are running late, you would not, you would go ahead and go on to your table as the host and go ahead, then you could order something to drink or eat. But you're, but the host is controlling the interview. Yes, absolutely. But the interviewee, the person yes. who's getting interviewed, zip. Zip, so as the guest. Don't as even go sit, wait for your host. Correct, yes. I Good say advice. keep a bottle yes. in the car. Yeah, <laughs> to, to tipple the nerves. <laughs> That's a different story. She's covering once you get in the restaurant. Yes. What happens in the car? Yes. Okay, well, we're yes. talking money because this is a business lunch. Yes. How do you know what to order on the menu? I mean, are you going for the lobster or are you going for the salad? Good question. Actually, to be safe, I would always go about mid-range. And, and if your host offers they say, maybe this is a celebratory meal, and they say, oh, go ahead and order. I'm, I'm going to have lobster and steak tonight. Then you're free to order whatever you would like. Mm. But if they don't give you any option, just go about mid-range. Don't order only the salad because you think you're going to save money or yeah. help them out. You want to go ahead and order. Yeah, well, you want to eat. You want to eat. And you don't want yes. them to feel uncomfortable. Exactly. You would never order a salad if they don't. Oh. You let them guide the courses that you order. Yeah. If they order an appetizer, you might as well. You would like for them to uh, have a, someone to eat with. Well, see, it's funny you say that, my friend, because even when you're out socially, yes. and you know, I was out just recently with a group of people, and a couple of people ordered appetizers mm -hmm. and others didn't. Mm -hmm. And I always say, um, oh, who's ordering appetizers? Yes. And let's just say there's four of you, yes. and only one says, oh, I am. Yes. I probably wouldn't order. Correct. I would, I would agree. But in a social situation or with friends that you know, sometimes you do want to order just the appetizer for your meal, and that's okay. But in yeah, the, but you get them to bring it out with the main meal. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. In the business world, you would be you would base what you order on your host. Follow the lead. Got yes, you. All right. This lead. is an yes. important thing to know. Yes. When do you put your napkin on your lap? Do you do it Very. when you walk in <laughs> and sit down? Well, first of all, you would never sit down before your host. Of course. Or the person who invited you, and then you follow their lead. They should put their napkin in their lap first, and then you follow. What if they forget? Go ahead and put your napkin in okay. your lap. Yeah. Even before you're served anything. Because even once they bring your water glass and the other things that you've ordered, you they can have drips and you leave your napkin on your lap until the very end of the meal. I got you. I got you. Even if you're finished eating. Sally, we're running out of time. Yes. I'm, we, I have oh, more to so ask much. you, but can you come back? Yes, yes. Would you, absolutely. Would you? I'd I like would that. love that. I'd really appreciate that. We if you want to find out more about Sally and the etiquette enrichment and life.
coaching. All the information is up on the screen now. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having Back me. Back after this short break, everyone, you're watching Midday Kentucky live at Shakespeare & Co. over here in Hamburg.